Well, one of the music forms that I do and I consider it my forte is called the fadu. What is the fadu? It's a semi-classical form of music. This is a form of music that has flourished in a little tiny country of Europe called Portugal. I say it's flourished there because it has influences from various parts of the world, from Africa and there are theories saying even from the Middle East. Fado is a form of music that appeared in the mid 19th century and uh, believe it or not, within 50 years we had it being sung, taught, printed and, and learned here in Goa. So it's lived here for just 50 years less than it has lived in Lisbon, in Portugal. Fado, the word means destiny or fate and therefore generally the songs are all about fate and destiny, many a times very sad. If anybody would ask me what would Fado be in Indian terms, I would compare it closest to the Hindi ghazal. So you have deep lyrics, the poem is very very intense, you have very light musical accompaniment, not like a full band and drums, it's usually accompanied by strings. So you have a Portuguese guitar, a classical guitar, sometimes a double bass. And the essence of the fadu is the ability of the singer to convey the poem to the audience. In the ghazal, you have to explain or transmit that dard to the audience. And that's basically what is also done in the fadu. This particular fadu, however, um, is going to be a little bit on the lighter side. The poem is about a white rose. Rosa Branca is the name of the song. A white rose went to all these dances and with all the rounds and twirls and turns that the rose gave, the petals fell apart, fell off. She talks about her heart. And if you love me, put that white rose onto your coat and come to me. Ladies and gentlemen, for you, the fado Rosa Branca. The rose foi pura roda Eu baile com quem ganhou De rosa ao peito na roda Eu baile com quem ganhou Tantas voltas dei bailando Quem tem, quem tem amor é seu jeito 
Dr. Alan Madrid. And now we come to Goa, um, this beautiful paradise that I call home, privileged to call it home. In Goa, we have uh, various types of traditional forms of music, some based on Indian music and some based on Western music. We have to understand that we've had Western music schools right from the 17th century in Goa by the Portuguese regime. You had music schools in parishes run by the priests and the music teachers. And therefore, Western music, notations, classical music, pieces by Mozart and Bach were being learned and taught in Goa right from then. And therefore, there is an influence and we do have some folk forms that we consider that originated from Western music. One of them is the famous mando. Mando is, again, uh, very similar or um, close to the fadu, the sad fadu. But we also have the dulpods and we also have the dekni. Dulpods are generally uh, songs with very short lyrics, maybe five lines to ten lines maximum. And they are sung in a sequence, like a medley. Most of you who have visited Goa before have probably heard dulpods. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a peppy type of uh, music. We also have another traditional form called Dekni. And this particular Dekni, it talks about a girl who wishes to go across the river to attend a wedding. And she pleads with the man, the boatman, to take her across because she needs to go and attend this wedding. And he initially refuses, so she's ready to give him her nose pin and he says no. And then she says, I'm ready to give you my anklets and he says no. So she says, okay, I will sit at your feet and I will marry you and be your wife. Could you please take me across the river? Um, the reason I've chosen this one is because those of you who have followed a little bit of music from the Hindi cinema will probably find it a little known, uh, a tune that was taken up in a movie some decades ago. For you, ladies and gentlemen, from Goa, Dekni, Aung Saiba, Poltori Veta. Oh, she 
Thank you very much.